Hello, everybody, and welcome to a series about what's new in Painter X3. Well, the first thing I want to show you in this video is the search brushes function. This is, you're going to love this. All right, so if I want to find um, a brush, one of those clumpy brushes that has the word clumpy in it, I just click on clumpy, click on that, and there you go. Clumpy brush and acrylics, clumpy thin flat and acrylic, dry clumpy impasto, clumpy ink, real clumpy. Yeah, so that's returned all of the brushes that have the word clumpy in their name. Um, this can be multiple uh, requests. So you could go drip, comma, and then drip would be the uh, method. And we could go, um, I think it's grainy, drip, and search. And here we go. We've got <clears throat> brushes that are drip brushes and also grainy drip brushes. One other thing that's really cool about this, type in X3 and search, and that will give you all of the new brushes that are located in uh, Painter X3. New brushes, new to this version. Also, bear in mind that the search is only inside of one library. If you have multiple brush libraries, you have to change to the brush library your brush is in before you can um, uh, search for it. It searches only in one library. Another thing that's really cool, once you've decided on the brush you want, you can just grab it and pull it out, and voila, it makes a custom palette or starts making a custom palette for you. Okay, that's it for the first tip. Um, more to come. Bye-bye.